Hello, so welcome. I'm Padma Darshani. Well, welcome my friend Abby's just joined and Ruth, so welcome joining us. We're just about to start, so I'm Padma Darshani uh, in Manchester and I'm leading this meditation for Dharna Kosha Retreat Centre, so welcome. You can lie down or you can sit, so make yourself comfortable. Um, and then we will make a start and I'm going to turn this com my screen to put on my shrine. So that's with you with a lovely, very lovely Tara Rupa that I have. <clears throat> so just taking a little bit more time or some time now to set yourself up, you can sit or you can lie down. So let your just sense, sensing what it is, what position your body needs. It's, re all, it's really fine to lie down to practice. Sometimes just that giving of large areas of our body to the earth. Uh, really, really helpful, really supportive. especially those of us that are real kind of doers, active, on the go, to just really rest our weight on the earth. <sighs> so we're going to begin. So I'm going to uh, read a poem. Uh, this is a poem that's clearly been written in the last few weeks um, by Donna Folds. And it's speaking to this time that we're in, this period of time. It takes a while, it takes a while, but I finally find the quiet place inside where I can embrace fear with love and not be hijacked by anxiety. In that space, connected and awake, I take a breath and feel my heart begin to open again. Instead of pushing away sadness and grief, I let it all be. I let it all be. This is meditation in the midst of a pandemic. This is how I regain my centre many times a day now. But who's counting? What matters is finding my way back to intimacy with what is real and unchanging. What matters is finding my way back to intimacy with what is real and unchanging. So we start just very, very gently taking time to stop. As the poem says, it takes a while to find the quiet place inside. So we take time to stop and feel our bodies here. So feel just sensing the shape of your body, whether you're sitting, or whether you're lying. You can feel the space, the volume, the length and depth of your body. And whatever part of your body is on the ground, feel that contact.
And the next time you breathe out, breathe out, aware of that contact with the ground. Feel the solidness of the ground, the floor under you, taking your weight. Allowing, allowing yourself time to arrive it takes a while. Letting go wherever you just put down or come from earlier in the day. And feel the weight, density of your body on the ground, on the cushion, on the floor, on the bed, wherever you are. Noticing your breathing, however it is, wherever you can feel it in your body. Arriving, arriving, coming back, coming back to yourself. I just get a sense of how you are now. Sense of your phys the physicality of your experience, any tension, achiness. Whether you feel numb anywhere in your body. Use the sense of how your energy is. How your mind is, your thinking mind, is it quiet, is it busy? Without making an evaluation, without needing to judge ourselves. Seeing if we can Notice how we are without judging or needing to change it. And how are you? How is your heart? You might even bring a hand to your heart. I, I find that helps me to, um, that, that touch just helps me to connect with myself. Arriving here with yourself as you are. And that might include just not really quite knowing. It might mean starting off aware of feeling disconnected. So let's, whatever you notice, see if you can let it be there. Welcome, welcome this experience. It's okay to feel disconnected. So just having touched into how we are, we're going to go around our body, take a journey around our body. And something a bit like if you were to lay a hand 
or somebody was to lay a kind hand on your arm or your shoulder and touch touch you with kindness and awareness. We could let our awareness be like that hand. It's moving around our body with this touch that is kindly and present, aware. So let's start with our faces. Bring your awareness into your face. Touch your face with your awareness. skin on your face, your eyes and eyelids, your lips, maybe slightly parting your lips to soften the mouth and jaw. You travel inside your mouth moisture and warmth, the interior body, the teeth, the tongue, the ears, the sense of your head, the bone of your skull. whole of your head and face. Touch, kindly aware presence. Let's go down into our throats. We encounter tightness anywhere, seeing if we can meet that with gentleness, kindness. So often that's just what things want. They don't need any intervention, but just to be allowed to be as they are. Coming down into shoulders, Shoulder blades, collarbones, and the sense of the whole upper breathing space of your ribs, your chest, your lungs. Movements of the breath in all directions to the front, to the sides, and to the back. The three dimensionality of your breathing body. You could go in and gently touch the organ of your heart. So our heart is about the size of a fist, just slightly off center to the left, your breastbone, the sternum, where your heart sits. See if you can get a sense, a felt sense of your heart. beating, pulsing, alive. Sense of your awareness, holding your heart, the actual physical organ of your heart. And we can kind of include 
broaden the sense of the heart to include also the center of the chest, what we might call our heart center. The energetic, emotional center. These two, these two aspects of the heart together. And let's flow down, include a sense of our arms. You can feel how your arms are placed or arranged. The shape of your elbows. Your hands, wherever they're resting or whatever they might be touching the touch of air on your hands. And then just let your awareness flow back up from your hands through your arms, back to the heart. And then just gently flowing down. So uh, we can sense around the base of our ribs, solar plexus. You can always place a hand there as well. That can help sometimes to connect. So if we encounter, or when we encounter tightness, tension, fear, anxiety in our bodies, see if we can bring this quality of a kind hand, kind touch, reassuring, comforting. It's probably what everything difficult in our experience really wants is comforting, reassuring, allowing. And we can extend to a sense of our whole abdominal area, all the way down to the pelvic floor. fullness and weight and volume of your abdomen, your belly. So your awareness, gently touching, reassuring, connecting. Whatever is there, physical sensation, emotion. Tightness. Or whatever is there that is pleasant, warm, ease. Let's go down into our hips, just touching, awareness touching that place where your legs come into your pelvis. Thighs. The knees. Our 
and into your lower legs, calves and shins and ankles. your feet. Just feel your sensitivity in the soles of your feet. Your toes. Broadening out to an awareness of our whole body. Sense your whole body here. Being breathed. Maybe a sense that your breath massages your body. And all the small visceral movements that arise as we breathe in and breathe out. Gently cradling, rocking our whole bodies. Feeling, feeling yourself here as best you can. Be here. Be with yourself as you are. So I'm just going to drop in three little things, three little reflections, really lightly, just explore them in a really light way. More with your heart than with your head, yeah, more from your body, your heart, even your belly. So the first one is just to be curious and ask yourself, this situation of lockdown that we're all experiencing and everything it involves, what are the particular personal difficulties or challenges for you? So it could be work, money, it could be around restrictions, living closely into living close confinements, could be being lonely, could be anxieties over health. So just to warm us up for to tune us in, with, it could be something completely other than those. So what are the particular challenges that you're having to face into? See if you can feel them, just be with them in a felt sense way. And with kindness. It's okay that there is some things that are really difficult and challenging. will be the case for all of us, I'm sure. It probably all kind of mirrors back certain edges for us. We get some mirroring of our habits and tendencies. So 
hopefully it's a, a, a way, it's a, it is, can be an opportunity to learn something about ourselves, what we're like. you notice yourself getting into any kind of self-judgment or criticism just see if you can come back to kindness allow yourself to find things challenging this is really important to really allow what feels difficult allow it to be difficult allow yourself to have that feeling Feel your body breathing. The whole body here breathing. So we'll just let go of that little uh, reflection. the ground under you. And then the next reflection is what are the gifts to you, the benefits to this experience, in this experience? So just for example, it could be having a simpler life, being at home more, clarity around what matters, or more connection with those that you love, nature. And many other things are possible. Just allowing that, the benefits, the pleasures, the gifts of this experience. Really feel them in your body, breathe them in, breathe them. And in this too, we have the opportunity to learn something about ourselves, about what really matters.
And then when you're ready, just very gently letting that reflection dissolve. Feeling your breath, your body on the earth, just taking yourself in as you are right now. You don't have to be any different from how you are. There's absolutely nothing to get wrong or to get right. And our third little reflection is this, just a question to drop in, just drop in lightly. What do I need in this time going forwards over the coming days? What do I need to nourish and support myself? What do I need over these coming days? to nourish and support myself. So not thinking about it so much as just feeling, just seeing what comes, what does your body let you know, your heart, your belly. There might be words, so it might just be a, a kind of quality, a felt sense, or an image. So we're listening, just really listening. Seeing if we can you know, just really take to heart, honour whatever it is that comes in response to this inquiry, this inner question. So if you can kind of really feel in your experience now, whatever it is that you need. Feel its presence now in your experience, in your breathing body, so if it's ease, Turn towards any experience at ease, if it's space, if it's connection, whatever it is. And those, in a way, just trusting that those inquiries, those three inquiries are somehow there in our being, in our energy and emotional body, letting them go. And let's come again to feel the sensation of our bodies on the ground, feel weight, contact breathe your weight down into the ground and with each 
be sitting through your pelvis, sit bones, legs. Really taking your seat. Relying the whole back surface of your body. Let's go to very gently through our body again, touching our body with our awareness. So starting in our feet and legs. As you breathe in and breathe out, feel being your feet, your legs. Imagine you're breathing in and out through all the pores of your feet and legs. Include your hips, include your pelvis and the organs of your pelvis. Include your belly and all your the organs of your belly and abdomen. So you're breathing in through on out through all the pores from your feet up to your belly. Include the area around your diaphragm and your solar plexus. Allowing any place, including any place that feels tight or tender or vulnerable. Now move up into the space of the heart and lungs. It's the organ of your heart nestled between your lungs. So you're breathing in and out through all the pores from your feet up to your chest and heart, up to your shoulders.
including your arms, your hands, your shoulders, your throat, breathing in, breathing out through all your pores. Finally, let's include our faces and heads. Interesting to experience the head as billions of breathing cells, your brain as a whole. So your whole body, feel your whole body being breathed. Porous, open, tender. And just being with yourself as you are, nothing to change. Nothing to get right or wrong. A breathing part of the world. Let yourself simply be a breathing part of the world. to read again the poem I read at the start. It takes the while, but I finally find the quiet place inside where I can embrace fear with love and not be hijacked by anxiety. In that space, connected and awake, I take a breath and feel my heart begin to open again. Instead of pushing away sadness and grief, I let it all be. This is meditation in the midst of a pandemic. This is how I regain my centre many times a day now, but who's counting? What matters is finding my way back to intimacy with what is real and unchanging. <laughs> 